Hey folks, Ron here. Uh, sorry about the shade, but we'll be out of that in a moment. I'm here, as you can see, at Vitello's restaurant. Vitello's is the site, of course, where Bonnie Lee Blakely, Bonnie Lee Blakey, excuse me, uh, the at that time, the uh, wife of actor Robert Blake was murdered just a block away, and I'm gonna take you over there. Um, Blake was, let's get another shot of him. Blake was her, I believe her 10th husband, and they certainly didn't plan on getting married. Um, look, folks, I don't wanna do victim bashing here. My job in these videos, or as far as I'm concerned, is to not bash the victims, and Bonnie Lee Blakey was murdered. Uh, she is the victim of a murder. We don't know who did it. Many believe Robert Blake, her husband at the time, did it. Others believe that it was one of her estranged lovers or a man that she had conned out of money. Very interesting story here. So Bonnie Lee Blakey was a woman who, in her time, her goal was to hear some more of kind of tents that they've set up for dining at Vitello's, this Italian restaurant, Studio City. By the way, I'm rocking right around the corner here, and we're going to see in a minute the actual spot where Blakey was killed. They did not park, by the way, in the parking lot back here, Blake. He chose to park a block up, and I'm going to take you to it right now. Bonnie Lee Blakey's goal, and a stated goal, and she told this to friends and relatives, was she wanted to be with a movie star that being with a movie star being with a celebrity would make her feel you know better than other people she tried with Jerry Lee Lewis Gary Busey Christian Brando uh, she also was do well she was doing all kinds of things there was mail order businesses that she was doing sending out her photo in fact she was sending her photos to Christian Brando when he was in jail um, but she had been convicted in her life of identity theft, passing bad checks, uh, drug possession, all kinds of different things. So by the time she met Blake at a jazz club in 1999, I believe it was probably the baked potato here in Studio City, where I have been, but I'm not positive about that. Um, she got to know Blake and they started a relationship of sorts. Now she became pregnant. Blake insisted on a paternity test he thought it might have been Christian Brando's, but it was in fact shown to be Blake's daughter. So Blake agreed to marry her, but he had all kinds of stipulations by, done by his lawyer that if either one of them split up, either one of them got divorced, the other one, they would get the custody of the child. And also many, very, uh, many other stipulations regarding the marriage that if any of Bonnie's relatives or friends wanted to come and visit her, the baby on the, on Blake's property, they'd have to have written permission, or at least permission first. And also that uh, Bonnie was not allowed to live in the main house with Blake. She had to live in a guest house on the property. So, you know, we can't know at this point how much of a relationship there was, how close their relationship was, I should say, only to say that it was unusual for a legally married couple here in California. Now, at the trial, we're going to see that, uh, you know, some a couple of Robert Blake's associates came out and said they that Blake had discussed killing Bonnie Lee Blakey. He didn't trust her. He wanted to get out of the marriage, so on and so forth. A lot of cops in this neighborhood all of a sudden. I don't know why. I'm not going to be paranoid. I think it's me because um, I'm just filming. Uh, but, you know, the prosecution said, or excuse me, the defense said that they were unreliable, too unsavory. In Hollywood, you meet a lot of teamsters and guys in construction crews and things like that. And it's, I believe they said these guys were into drugs, but there's drugs all over all the sets in Hollywood. So it doesn't mean that every teamster crew was selling them or dispensing them. Anyway, what happened on that night was in 2001, Blake and Bonnie went to Vitello's, the restaurant I showed you in the beginning of the video. Blake then walked back with Bonnie to the car or had her walk to the car, which I'm going to show you the spot where they parked in a minute. And he said he forgot his gun that had slipped 
in the restaurant. I remember it slipped like under the cushion in the restaurant. I remember a story saying that someone in the restaurant said that he vomited when he got back to the restaurant. He was quite nervous about something. But anyway, he was not there at the time. She was at the car. The car door was found open. And when he got back, Bonnie Lee Blakey was found dead of a bullet wound right here. Right with this. Let me turn it around this way. Right here. Right where this car is now. Right here. And also that there was uh, at the time one of those large trash bins here right about here where this tree is and the other truck is, and the truck is here there was a trash bin at the time for construction and the car was parked right behind it so she was found dead right here this is where the car was right beyond where this thing is and what's also interesting is that you know, interesting a year later this electrical kind of tower here What's interesting is that about a year later, I came with my girlfriend at the time. She wanted to see the crime scene. So we had dinner at Vitello's, which is right up the street there. So, what is that, a block? A block and a half up? And we had dinner here. And then we came over to, right behind me, to the electrical box, to actually where the car was parked when Bonnie Lee was killed. And on this box, because it had just been, we probably went on a Sunday or Monday. Sunday, I believe, had been Mother's Day. And on this box were actually <clears throat> notes and cards and flowers that said that they were left by the children and the family of Bonnie Lee Blakey. That it had been Mother's Day, and they said, Happy Mother's Day. We miss you. It's the year anniversary since your death. And there were candles and things like that, right? On top of this electrical box here. So it was an interesting time that we chose to come. And um, that's part of why I wanted to come back to show you all this. Um, so that was a long time ago. The, I don't know how much the residents, you know, well, he, I know that one of the residents was involved here too, one of these houses, I believe he went there. I believe Blake went there uh, before the police were called. Now, Blake was acquitted in the murder trial because they just said there wasn't enough evidence. And like I said, the defense successfully uh, apparently to the jury successfully stated to the jury that um, these guys that were coming forward saying yeah Blake wanted to hire us were shady operators and not to believe not to be believed however Blake was convicted in a civil trial that the family launched and I believe it was a 30 million dollar settlement Blake immediately filed for bankruptcy he owed over a million dollars in taxes to the IRS and then at some point I believe it was about Ten years later, the, the uh, courts lowered the amount of the settlement to $15 million, half. How much of that's been paid, if anything? Who knows at this point? I have heard that Blake has been living in an apartment, and I don't know whether he's destitute or what his situation is, but certainly that would have wiped him out financially. And, of course, he did talk shows after that and so on and so forth, proclaiming his innocence that, you know, Bonnie Lee Blakey had defrauded so many men and fooled so many men and told men she was pregnant and done so many things to people that were considered dangerous and living a dangerous life and dangerous behavior that he stated that any number of men could have wanted to kill her now i mean the circumstances are odd of course that she happened to be with blake he happened to walk back to his car just at that moment to retrieve his gun that supposedly fell out into the restaurant and at that very time somebody who was lying in wait or following them stepped out and killed Bonnie Lee Blakey but that's what happened so anyway folks it's a very interesting case we don't know like with so many other cases in Hollywood and everywhere else whether it will eventually be solved or not but we know uh, both sides presented their arguments and the outcome was it's a cold case at this point so my name is Ron. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because then you'll be notified when I do post, and which I try to do every day. And please give me likes because it does affect and help the algorithm on YouTube. And please 
comment in the comment section if you see fit. I really appreciate your theories and thoughts. And, um, you know, I don't do this for profit at this point. I do this because I love to do it. And I love to show you folks um, what I see around here in Los Angeles. And there's so much history here, including this particular site today. Okay, folks, so we'll see you at the next location. Uh, over for now, and thank you, and goodbye.